Hey guys, my name is Daniel Langlish, and this channel is all about increasing value in tech, productivity, fitness, and lifestyle. And today, we're going to be beginning our series taking a look at the productivity app, Notion. Now, you may already know what Notion is, but for those of you who don't know, Notion is described by them as an all-in-one productivity tool. Now, you may be familiar with Evernote, Trello, OneNote, uh, Google Sheets, and those are all great apps. Those are apps that I've used before. But Notion sets itself apart by being a blank canvas. Where other programs force you to organize your ideas under their structure, Notion gives you it completely wide open to create it to whatever works for you best. And this is personally why I'm so excited about this. And this is the best time to start with Notion because they just upgraded their free plan to having no restrictions on the amount of content that you can put into it. And that is huge. In addition, if you're a student and you have an EDU email address, you can get the upgraded version of Notion for free while you're going to school. But enough about that. Today's video is to give you a brief intro into when you open up Notion for the first time, what should you be looking for, what should you know, and how exactly does Notion work? Let's take a look. So when you're at your home screen uh, of your computer, you're gonna wanna go and wherever you save the app, open up the app Notion. So I've got it down here and I'm gonna open it up and it's actually gonna bring up a, uh, should be a similar page to what you're seeing as I uh, created a new workspace um, so I could walk you through this. Um, I'm gonna make this full screen here and when you open it up, they've kind of got some uh, things in there right away that can help teach you uh, how to use Notion and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to kind of walk you through the different parts uh, of this structure and what you should know. So the first thing to know about Notion, if you look up in this top left corner where it says Daniel's Notion, and that is, uh, that's my workspace. And so I click on it, you'll see it's the only workspace there. So you could technically, if you wanted, you could create another workspace that would have all its separate stuff. However, I would warn you that, especially if you're upgrading to a pro plan, it only applies to each workspace. So most of the time, for most of you out there, you're just gonna wanna stay within one workspace. So we're within this workspace called Daniel's Notion. And one last quick little tip I want to give you, if you go down here to settings and members and you click on that, I know a lot of you out there really like dark mode and Notion has that, which I love. I do dark mode on everything. If you go down here, you'll see there's a little toggle. You can switch dark mode on, it looks super slick, but we're going to leave that off for right now and go back. So you're at this homepage and you're kind of maybe uh, seeing some of their stuff, you know, they got some stuff over here on the side. Now, on the side here, these things that they have, they're called pages. Um, and Notion's structure is kind of all about working with pages, and then ultimately pages within pages. So over here, we got some of these uh, kind of just default pages they give you uh, to work with. But we're actually going to go down and we're going to hit add a page. And to do that, and you'll see it opens up this blank page with just a, a little bit of stuff in the center. And this is why I describe Notion as a blank canvas because it gives you so much freedom to do what you want. So right now we've got our text uh, where it says untitled. That's gonna be the title of the page. So if you're starting out, you might just wanna, you know, maybe this is gonna be kind of just your home page of where you're working at. So for me, I'm gonna put Daniel's home. And you'll see over on the side now, over on the left-hand side, it now updated this, say Daniel's home. Perfect. Um, and the notion structure, kind of how it works is with these things called blocks. And so if I go down here, um, if I type something out, I go, hello, oops, hello world. There we go. And you'll see right next to here, there's little uh, six dots right here and I can, ultimately drag that around. But if I hit enter, there's another row for us to input another block. So I could say, hello, I can't spell hello today. Hello friends. And so these are two separate blocks. A block is essentially just any uh, piece of information that you input into Notion. Now the awesome thing is these six dots right here, if you grab them, 
you can actually rearrange your information in here. Or if I want to, you know, do uh, them side by side, I could drag it over like this. And that's a really awesome way to, you can just input your information in Notion and then go back and organize it all to what works best for you. So we're inputting blocks. Now you may be wondering, okay, so I just have this blank page. Uh, what, am, what, am, what am I supposed to be doing? So you'll notice where my, uh, right here it says type slash for commands. And this is kind of the main thing you're gonna be doing in Notion is using slash and creating things. So you'll see if I type slash, it pulls up all of this information of things that I can essentially turn this block into. Um, and this is really just, this is where the power lies in Notion. There's so much you can do through this. Um, but the basic thing that you might want to do is let's look at creating a page within a page. So we have this page right here, Daniel's home. But what if we wanted to then have a tasks page within Daniel's home? Well, if I go down and I could either go down and click on here or when you hit slash, you can start typing. And I type page and go like this and hit enter. It pulls up a blank page and I could type tasks right here. And now you'll notice if I go back up here to the top left and go back, now under the page of Daniel's home, we have this clickable page called tasks. And if I click on that, it opens up this page. And this is really the window into Notion and how it works is you can have pages within pages within pages, and then you can have information from different pages referencing each other. It's an incredible system that as you level up your Notion skills, you're gonna be amazed by the amount of organizational structure you can create within this. So that's creating pages. Um, now, you might notice right now, this looks, this looks kind of bland. You know, what, how, how can we spice this up a little bit? Um, so if you look on the left-hand side, you actually notice that the preset pages have these kind of little icons next to them. And I think those look really nice because they kind of, you know, just give you a idea of what that page is about. You know, even if you're not reading it, you can kind of just off a of first glance kind of know what you're looking at. And it just looks better. Well, if you go here on any page, you'll notice above the title, I've got three options here. And this left one says add icon. So if I click add icon, it's just gonna add a preset icon. So add a bar of soap. Now that's not very helpful, but if I click on that, it'll actually pull up an emoji search engine. And so I can now search for any emoji to input here as an icon. So it, you know, it might make sense to go uh, home and click on home right here because Daniel's home makes sense. Now with icons, you also have the option you can upload an image and I know there's lots of Notion icon packs out there so if you get really into that you can you can do a lot of cool stuff with icons. Um, so I think that looks good but, but what if we want a little bit more what if we what if we really want to you know take this to the next level well you also notice up here we've got an option to add a cover so I could click that and now I've just got this random cover I don't I don't know if that's any better but we can come up here and click change cover and then you'll notice over here, so it starts you out in this gallery, but on the far right, you've got an option to go to Unsplash, where there's just tons of images that you can search for and add it immediately. That's honestly what I use all the time. It's, it's the quickest and easiest. Uh, if you really want, you can go over to Upload and upload your own image for the cover, which can be cool. But we're gonna go to Unsplash, and we're just gonna search Nature. And eh, this, this first one looks good. So we're gonna enter nature and boom, look at that. Immediately, we've got a page that is pleasing to look at. And I'm a huge believer that if you can make your organizational system uh, enjoyable to look at, enjoyable to be in, it, you know, it brings gratification to you, then that's gonna be huge for creating your structure. Well, there you have it, guys. That was just a quick dive into the first things that you should be doing and looking for when you get into Notion. And now I know, when starting out with Notion, I know from personal experience that it can be extremely intimidating. I mean, you see all these people online doing all these crazy things and you're like, how, how do I even do this? Where do I start? 
But I just want to encourage you, don't let that stop you. You can go in and just start adding bit by bit and maybe your system will start really simple. But as you learn, as you grow, you're going to be able to turn your notion into an incredible organizational system that fits you to a T. Now, if you haven't downloaded Notion yet, I'm gonna be dropping my referral link below. And I'd really appreciate it if you clicked on that and, and signed up through that as that, that benefits me. And if you found value out of this video and you're interested in learning more about Notion as this is just the first video and we're gonna have a string of videos that get more and more advanced in the power of Notion, then drop a like below, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that as uh, we're gonna be diving into all things Notion and what this app can really do to unlock your productivity potential. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.